what is the statistics and what are the important terminologies when you're using descriptive statistics? Answers provided by statistical analysis can provide the basis for making better decisions. So they are important in business analytics, making decisions about companies, and so on. For example, city officials might want to know if the level of lead in the water supply is within safety standard or not. What are they going to do? They cannot check all of the water. So they're going to take a random sample and check that sample. When information is provided and you try to make a statistical decision, you need to follow some important steps. First of all, set clearly defined goals. What is the question that you're trying to answer? Make a plan. What is the target population? Where are you going to collect the data? Apply appropriate statistical methods. And finally, interpret the information and make conclusions. Before doing that, we're going to take a look at some important terminologies. For example, what is the definition of data? Data consists of information coming from observations, counts, measurements, and responses. So this is data. Statistics, as you learn, is a process of collecting, organizing, analyzing, and interpreting the data. What is a population? Well, a population is basically the collection of all outcomes, responses, measurements, counts, and so on. So all, every is the keyword here. When it comes to a sample, sample is basically a sub-collection or subset of population. So basically, population is a larger set than the sample. Statisticians usually try to get information from population by taking random samples from it. They usually don't have time or don't have enough money or don't have enough resources to deal with the population itself. So we rather use a sample. Now that we learned about population and sample, let's take a look at this example. In a research survey, first of all, you have a keyword here. Let me highlight that for you. When you see a survey, it means that you're dealing with a sample, everybody. So in this survey, you have 614 small business owners in the United States, and they were asked if they thought their company's Facebook presence was valuable or not. Out of 614 in this survey, well, 258 said yes. So 258 said yes. How many said no? How many didn't respond? We have no idea. But these are the information that we have. Question says identify the population and the sample. So first of all, because of the keyword survey, you have information about your sample. 614 represents the sample for you. What is population? Population consists of all responses of all small business owners in the United States. Well, do I have every piece of information there? Of course not. That's a huge data set. I don't know how many small business owners are in the United States, but I took a random sample of 614 and I asked them, hey, do you believe your Facebook presence is valuable or not? Some said yes, some said no, some said, well, we don't know or didn't even bother to answer. So this is your population. We don't have information about population. We don't have any data about it. So that's why we took a random sample out of it. It's a common mistake for students. The students think 614 is the population, which is not.
Next definition is a variable. A variable is any characteristic whose value may change from one object to another in the population. We're going to use variable lowercase letters like x, y, t, and so on to represent a variable. What is a parameter? So a parameter is a numerical description for population. A statistic is a numerical description for a sample characteristic. Take a look at this example. It says a recent survey. So we have your keyword. Survey represents a sample, everybody. Of approximately 400,000 employers reported that the average starting salary for marketing majors is $53,400. Well, because the average of 53,400 is based on subset of population, this is your sample statistic. The freshman class of a university has an average SAT math score of 514. Is this population parameter or is this sample statistic? Well, it says every student in that class. So every is hidden in this sentence, but this is representing the population parameter. Because the average SAT math score of 514 is based on the entire, every freshman class, student, its population parameter. And finally, in a random check of 400 retail stores, the Food and Drug Administration found that 34% of stores were not sorting fish at the proper temperature. So here you have another keyword, random. When you say random, it means that you randomly check those. Not all of them are included. So it represents a sample. Now that you have a sample, well, it means that you have sample statistic. 34% is based on a subset of population, the same as in the first question. Very well. Examples of populations, units, and variables. All students, so you see keywords all, all students currently enrolled in school, the unit is a student, and the variable can be GPA, number of credits, hours of work per week, major, right, left-handed, and so on. So if you have a population like this, you can basically ask question, hey, what is the average GPA of students? What is the average number of credits that they are taking? What is the average hours of work per week they are having in each week? You can also ask about what is the percentage of the major in that population? the proportion of right and left-handed students. So these are variables, or you can basically ask questions based off of these. Next one, all printed circuit boards manufactured during a month, the unit is board, and you can ask these types of questions, or these are your variables. Type of defects, what's the proportion? Number of defects, location of defects. So these are basically the variables of interest. Next one, all campus fast food restaurants. The unit can be restaurant, and the question can be number of employees work in the restaurant. Sitting capacity in that restaurant. What's the proportion of people they hired last month? Another population, all books in library. The unit is book, and the type of variable or question you can ask is 
How much does it cost to replace books? What's the average cost? What's the average frequency of checkout? What proportion of books need repair? Okay, 